All right, we should be live now. Uh, give me a second. Also, I just realized, I don't think I've ever actually seen, like, this demo here. Because I've never let the uh, tile screen run this long before. Huh. Why is it so blurry? Alright, we'll get started in a few minutes, though. I've never seen this before. They really did not put a whole lot of time into this uh, demo, did they? Well, whatever. All right. So, shall we? So yeah, I just kind of felt like doing like a one-off stream of Wonderful Life. Ever since the re ever since the remake was announced. Kind of had the urge to come back to this for a bit. So let's get started. Yeah, we're probably not going to be doing. What do you mean? The oh, no system memory. Anyways, probably not going to be doing the whole game. This is kind of just a one off thing I kind of felt like doing because, hey, the remake was announced like a few weeks ago, and I've had the urge to come back to this game ever since. So I'll probably do like a stream or two of it before moving on to something more long term. Oh, yeah. God, this game brings back so many memories. I remember this was like the one of the first Harvest Moon games I really looked forward to because this was what this was after Friends of Mineral Town, right? That was the one that really got me into the series. Yeah, we're j yeah we're just gonna do like a one-off stream of this. I'm not doing the whole game, especially like Vanilla a Wonderful Life. As much as I love this game, it drags after like chapter three. I don't know whose idea it was to have all of the chapters be multiple years. Well, some of the chapters be multiple years, but. There is not enough content to fill the entire time. But yeah, we'll do a stream or two of it. Honestly, we, in like, what, two, two and a half hours? We'll probably be able to get through, like, year one if we're, like, efficient. Also, Takura, I already know about all this. Yeah, the remake, that's the one thing I am looking really forward to in the remake. I want to see if they fix that issue. Because, yeah, as much as I love this game, I am not above realizing that the second half of, like, the main story really drags. Because that's about the time we start running out of things to buy. <clears throat> Especially in Vanilla, like I said, A, because chapters can be multiple years long, and B... Fruit farming in the original is broken as hell. Like, getting an orchard going in this game pretty much just gets you all the money you need for the rest of the game. Man, you know what? I would keep both dogs. Why do we have to pick one? I want both. All right, I always go with the uh, what is it with the long ears because that's like the traditional one. But screw it, we're going pointy ears for this playthrough of a year. 
All right, what are we naming you? You know what, since this is in celebration of the remake coming out uh, next year. Actually, oh. Hmm. I think in this game you can name your farm, right? Eh, screw it. Anyways, this is Cat the Dog. I forget what happens to the other one. I know you can... I'm pretty sure you can find the other dog somewhere in the village. Is it the manor? I mean, you have ducks in this game, too. Also, God, I forgot how tiny the house looked from the outside. Like... I guess it kind of fits the inside, because right now it's like a one-room cabin. So I guess it kind of fits the layout of the house right now. Oh yeah, we need a naming scheme for the, uh, for the cow, don't we? I'm not sure if we're actually gonna buy more animals, but what do we want to name the cow? Alright, uh, crap, I didn't actually think about this. How about... Oh no, this is like the original A Wonderful Life. This is the GameCube version. It's the one where fruit... Yeah, this is the one where fruit seeds are broken. Yes, that is true. That's one of the things that threw me off in a wonderful, like another wonderful life. I didn't realize in that version they added the requirement to fertilize the grass for animal food. So that kind of screwed me a little bit over in my first year. In this one, no, it just grows like all year round. Uh, do we want to name it after dairy products? You know what? Screw it. Why not? All right, what's a dairy product that starts with A? You know what? We're not going with the alphabet this time. I don't even remember where we left off with the alphabet with the uh, magical melody. Yeah, we'll go with dairy products for you. Oh god, I really do hope they keep in like the like weird animal husbandry requirement to have milk come out of your cows. That was such a weird addition to this game. Like, I like it because it adds some more depth to your animals, but it's so... It's so strange having to actually breed your cows to have a good supply of milk going. Also, I know what I'm naming the uh, farm. How much I've played of Sunshine Islands. Island of Happiness, I was not a big fan of the controls and the weird weather system. Sunshine Islands, I I own it, but I've never actually played it that much. Also, hold on a second, give me a moment. I'm gonna I need to replace the batteries on my controller. One second, I will be right back.
All right, I'm back. Hold on. Also, in terms of who I'm marrying in this playthrough, if we even make it that far, which I think we will. All right, come on. My moment. There we go. But yeah, in terms of who we're marrying, I think I'm going to marry Muffy this time. She's like the one bachelorette I've never married in any of my playthroughs. Okay, we're good. But yeah, let's go meet all the characters who all have been kind of redesigned and renamed in the remake, haven't they? God, it's gonna be so weird playing that game when like, and all the names are different. Oh crap, I have to name myself, right. I forgot they, w they wait until now to do that. Okay, but yeah, in terms of who I'm marrying this time, I think we are gonna go after Muffy. Maybe I'll play until like chapter, the first two chapters or something. I don't know. We'll play it by year. Basically, this is kind of a stopgap until I think of something else to stream more long term. Also, hi, Nina. This is the only chapter we're going to see you in. Huh. For some reason, I thought Chris's family didn't move in until chapter two. I guess they're already. Yeah, I guess they're already here from the beginning, huh? Also, I wonder if Griffin will be marryable, or, well, I don't know how many bachelors or bachelorettes they're adding for the new one. I know they're adding Cody as a bachelor. Who would be the new- I guess Lumina would be the new bachelorette. I'm assuming they want to keep the count the same between the two. But yeah, Nina- well, Nina dies as yeah, one of the few characters who dies in the series. <clears throat> also, it took me way too long to realize that Celia isn't actually related to the two of them. Like, as a kid, I always thought she was, like, their younger sister, but no. I don't think she's related to them at all. She just kind of works for them. Also, apparently, what is it, they're redoing the ruins in the remake? I'm not sure about that. That's what I've heard. Like, they're getting rid of the dig site or something? I might have misheard that, but who knows. Either way, they bear add some kind of mining system. Actually, I kind of hope they also add some kind of tool upgrade system. In this one, you can literally just buy all the upgrade tools. Uh, probably just gonna be streaming, like, two, two and a half hours, the usual. Maybe a little bit longer, depending. I kind of want to play it by ear, because I'm hoping that we'll be able to get through chapter one, at least. Well, uh, I forget how long each of the years is. If we don't, like, screw around too much, we might be able to get married, but I doubt it. Apparently, the speed run to get married in this game is, like, 20 something minutes but no i don't know how long i'm gonna stream for but we'll see it'll depend on how long takakura the energy vampire lets us live for well in order to get past chapter one and get married we do need to interact with people also i completely forgot about the weird tv people in this game like look at these guys they they're a completely different art style for some reason, especially Weatherman here. Oh man, I for completely forgot about these, like, news people. Let's hold on a second. 
Okay, no, I was gonna say, is that a map of the world? It. I'm trying to look at the globe in the corner there. I don't think that's a real globe. Like, that's probably their actual world. Who knows? But yeah, chapter one is the uh, one year. You have to get married at the end. If you don't, you just game over right there. Oop. I want to save. Also, yeah, the emulator, uh... I might have to mess with the settings a bit. There's a couple of graphical issues. It's fine. Also, yeah, I hope you guys like hearing Breeze, because... No, don't eject Breeze. Keep that in. Yeah, I hope you guys like Breeze, because it's going to be playing for, like, the entire time. But yeah, oh yeah, that's true. You do have a default bachelorette, but if you don't get married to anyone, it's game over. Also, hey, the shed. Everyone remember the shed? Like... This weird thing that's just in here that they didn't do anything with in the original. In Another Wonderful Life, I think that's where the feed pen goes for the chickens. But yeah, in this one, this is just going to sit here and do absolutely nothing the entire time. And I also remember this big field is the field you always want to use because the soil is actually good. Like, objectively, that's the best field in the game because the other two fields suck. Man, this kid, just wandering around the farm with this music playing just brings back so many good, like, childhood memories. Like I said, this was, like, the first game I, or, like, the first Harvest Moon game I actually really looked forward to. Because this was after I got into the series with the Wonderful, with, not Wonderful Life, with, uh, Friends of Mineral Town. Oh, let me also milk my cow. Yeah, the other fields are where you basically put your trees. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, I don't have any tools yet, do I? I think they just give us the basic tools, right? I'm not sure how much I'm gonna plant this year. If we're just gonna try to get married, I guess we can just, like, prioritize what how we want to befriend our, uh... How we want to befriend people. Yeah, you can build an annex that's for milking your cows. Also, this is spring through fall. Alright, let's get our tools and then get to planting. Yeah, the emulator kind of makes some of the uh, textures a bit weird. It's fine. Listen, it's... I just kind of wanted to play the game again. Ever since it got announced, I've just had it in the back of my mind, so I decided why not. Plus, it keeps me from having to think of another game to stream for a week. Uh, what's the first person button again? Is it- no, it's not start. Is it Z? Yeah, Z. Man, look at these GameCube Max textures. Good times. Alright, we have like two seeds to plant. Let me do that real quick. Whoops. I need to get used to the controls again. We only have two seeds right now. I might need to go buy a few more. Yeah, we only have two. That's fine. But I do want to explore Forget Me Not Valley again. That's like the main appeal for this game for me. Yeah, for the GameCube... The oh, this is not my watering can. Whoops. For the GameCube, these graphics are actually pretty good. Oh, God, camera. Okay, the camera controls are a little bit weird. I think they're... Are they inverted? They just feel off for some reason. It might just be in my head. But yeah, for the GameCube, this is a pretty good-looking game. 
And yeah, oh yeah, that's true. That's how you find out their heart levels. You have to find their hidden diaries. Which is actually something I kind of miss. Like the, what is it? The original Harvest Moon did the same thing, where in order to get like people's heart levels, you had to go into the rooms and find their diary. Which is kind of creepy, but whatever. But yeah, we're going to be marrying Muffy this playthrough. Because I've never married her before and I feel really bad about that. So let's go start wooing her. Also, I forgot there's no music as you're running around the town. But yeah, I hope they do expand Forget Me Not Valley a bit more. Oh, hey, thanks for the follow, uh, Zeofate. But yeah, I hope they, like, expand on Forget Me Not Valley, because as much as I... Or, sorry, the Forgotten Valley. As much as I love this place, it is kind of barren. Hakakura, I... I know more than you. Also, I like how that's something he tells you to do immediately. Listen, I know you just want me to get married to have a kid so you can feed off of them when I'm dead, okay? You, you don't have to hide it anymore. Hi, Chris. Oh, never mind. I need to go sell the milk real quick. I forget, how much are tools in this game? Uh, let's see... Order items... But so we want, like, the good tools, so watering can large is 750... Actually, wait, we can afford most of this, can't we? Uh, actually, I kind of only want the watering can at this point. Everything else can wait. Oh, I also want to go check one thing real quick. Yeah, the best, like, tools, the weird tools you only, you only get from befriending, like, people. Also, hey there, cat. Oh, wait, no, in this game, right. We can't do the old egg trick in this one. Because unlike pretty much every other game in the series... This one, your animal genders actually really matter, in that you need both a male and a female to get a, like, a fertilized egg, and then you need a bull to fertilize your, uh, female cows. Like, A Wonderful Life is kind of on the weirder side in terms of the series, just mechanically speaking. Uh, what I do want to grab, though, is... How much is a chicken? Give me a female chicken. Don't do what I did as a kid and accidentally order male chickens and not realize why you weren't getting eggs. Alright. Yeah, there's a little nice little detail. I clicked off the screen again. Is there anything else I want to grab right now? We could have afforded the pond right away, but there's no point getting that. Okay. Alright, let's keep going to town. See what else is going on right now. But yeah, for some reason I re mm. for some reason I remember Chris and their family not moving in until like year two. I guess they were here from the beginning, huh? Hey, Ruby, also known as Lou now. All right, I'm gonna go see Muffy. Oh yeah, if we want to find Muffy's diary, it's like hidden here. 
It's hidden in the plant. Uh, is she not here right now? There you are, just sitting here. We're just standing here. Alright, you know what? You convinced me, Muffy. Whoops. I need... Oh, there we go. For some reason, I couldn't access my inventory for a second. <laughs> I think they retranslated the original names to what they should have been. Because I know a couple of the names are definitely their Japanese names. Also, I'm stuck. Oh, no, I'm good. Also, I don't think I've ever been to Muffy's room before. Hold on. But yeah, I don't know why I've never married Muffy before. It's usually either Selka or uh, Nami. Can I go up here? No, I can't right now. Never mind. I can't leave. There we go. Yeah, I think you can go in a DS and maybe another Wonderful Life. Also, yeah, there's going to be a house here later. This is Nina and Gallant's house because this is before... Oh, because Nina is still alive. There's this weird just farm plot in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what this is about. It's just kind of here. Yeah, it, it might be the farm just growing their own crops there. That's true. <clears throat> oh, there's Nami. Hold on, before we go see her... <clears throat> is everyone out? Yeah, everyone's out right now. It's like 11 a.m. Hey, Nami. Oh, and it's Nina, too. Yeah, you guys are old, but you're going to end up outliving me, apparently, for some reason. Like, they still outlive you, right? Oh, no, Nina doesn't, but Gallon's going to outlive me. Yeah, that is true. You can actually set up your own shop in this game to sell your stuff, but... I don't know, I always found that to be completely useless, because anything you sell is just more efficient just to sell the van and get your money that way. I, I think theoretically you can get more money by- oh hey, kitties! <coughs> but yeah, you can uh, technically make more money by selling things yourselves, but it's not hard to make money in this game, like, at all. By, like, mid-game, you're going to have more money than, than you have, like, anything to actually buy. Also, hey, look, a cat. Alright, I'm stealing this cat. Nope. Unfortunately, they won't let me take the cat. Although, I wonder... Uh, there's probably not a way to glitch a cat out of the room, unfortunately. Also, give me a second. Why is OBS telling me I am overloaded? There we go. But yeah, unfortunately they won't let- Oh, this cat's adorable. Okay, you know what? It- Oh, that was weird. It wants to come with me, right? Like... Nope. Yeah, they're not gonna let us steal cats. And I don't think there's a way to clip it out just because it's a loading zone. Alright. Alright. Oh, hey, the weirdest character in the game. I always thought he wasn't wearing pants, but apparently it's just the, like, shorts. Yeah, he's the one who takes over their house, uh, 
in chapter two and onward. All right, I should probably go buy some seeds. Oh, we could stop by the, wait, what the? Oh no, the house is over there. For some reason I thought it was missing. We could go see the brothers real quick and play their weird mini game. We can still play, we can play the mini game right now, right? Yeah, let's play their mini game. Also, yeah, what is with my stream rate right now? It's kind of, uh, it's kind of acting up a bit. Hold on. All right. Yeah, I don't remember the rules of this game. I think it's just... Uh, what is the name of this game? I know it's based on a real, like, game you can play with, like, pen and paper. Why am I even doing this? There's literally no reward for doing this, like, at all. Okay, is, does this thing look okay? All right. Yeah, OBS was just saying it dropped some frames, but it looks like everything's okay now. Might have just been a one-time thing. Also, did I accidentally ask for the rules? I think I accidentally asked for the rules. Is there any way to skip this? I don't think there's a way to skip this. Anyways. But yeah, I don't think there was any reward or anything from this minigame like at all. It's just something you could do. No, don't don't explain the rules again. All right, good night. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you have any shapes, buddy. Ah, crap. I let him have some shapes. Whoops. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know what the optimal strategy for this is, by the way. I'm just kinda... Oh, he's actually being smart. That's fine, this is fine. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can maybe sneak by. Okay, I am absolutely losing this, am I? Aren't I? It's fine. He's not gonna notice me making this giant shape down here. Just gonna sneak this giant, like, not really a triangle. He, fe yeah, okay. Oh no, no, no! Wait, AI didn't figure it out. Uh, don't want to block him. You know what? No. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go for an even bigger shape. No, you, you just keep doing what you're doing. It's fine. Oh, crap. I'm actually running low on time. I'm going to lose. Or maybe not. Hold on. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna see if I can get a giant shape up here. That's f oh no, you oh you see, he stole my shape. Uh, okay, never mind then. 
I was kind of hoping I could sneak it by him without him noticing. Nope. Oh well. Also, why do I have so little time compared to him? Hmm. Yeah, I think I... Oh wait, no, I might have won. Oh, I won by one point. Got it. Oh, you do get rewards from this. Huh. What did you give me? Oh, Moon Ore. Alright, perfect. Alright, so that's that house. Uh, where else is there? Cody lives here. Although, I don't know if he's home right now. Nope. Man, I can't wait until we get the horse. The horse in this game is the best, just because you can literally teleport wherever you want. Or you can just teleport to you whenever you want. Uh, there's the weird pond over here, which... I think was supposed to be bigger, judging by how people talk about it. I want to see something real quick. Uh, town map. Yeah, this is like supposed to be Turtle Swamp, which makes it sound bigger than it is. In reality, it's like this tiny, like, almost pond in the middle of town. Like, this is really small, right? It takes like a minute to walk around. And then we have the beach. And that's basically most of forget- Oh, it's raining! Oh, it's raining. You know what I should do? I should probably go buy more seeds. I completely forgot about that. Hey, Gustava. You're a bachelor in the later games. For some weird reason. I guess in terms of who they could choose as a bachelor, their choices were kind of limited. Oh, there's Cody. I don't know. I think Cody should have probably been like one of the original bachelors. Uh, we have this empty space here that's nothing right now. It'll be something later on, but right now, yeah, this is literally nothing. Also, there is no way we're making it to the end of year one at this rate. It's already been like 40 minutes and we're still on day one. That's fine, though. Alright, can I buy seeds from you right now? Wait, what? Just don't sell what you grow in town? Oh, okay. Can I not buy right now? They might be closed. Hold on, uh, let me check. Wait, hold on a second, what are you doing here? I've ever seen him in this farm area before. Interesting. Alright, but seriously though, is there anyone here who can sell me seeds? I kind of got distracted and I forgot to actually buy seeds. You know what? As a kid, I always thought it was weird that Marlin would move, like, to a farm if he got sick from working. As an adult, I kind of relate more to that just because working is stressful. Alright, what do I want to buy? Uh, watermelons can grow in spring, right? I'm not going to be doing too much planting, but I'm pretty sure they do. In fact, do I even want to bother planting anything?
All right, let's get out of here. Also, I don't think we can ever... Yeah, we can't go inside their greenhouses, unfortunately. So I think the only place we haven't been to yet is... Oh, let me also check one last thing. The place we haven't been to yet is the dig site. Yeah, we can plant these. Okay, perfect. Also, what happens if I try to leave? I obviously can't link my uh, Game Boy Advance to an emulator. Oh, by the way, this area right here creeped me out as a kid. Like, what's with the weird wind sounds? Like, I think it's because it's a valley, so all the wind is blowing here, but it just sounds haunted. Like, I think the valley is haunted or something. But yeah, unfortunately, we can't leave. I don't think it's the windmills. Because those are kind of far away, the, the wind turbines. I don't think that's what's causing the sound. Because it's only right here in front of the exit. Sure, why not, Knack? Show me what you're going to do if I try this. Sure. Yeah, it's so ominous. That's the only way in and out of the town. And, like, you are supernaturally prevent. Okay, yeah, we're quitting. Obviously, we can't do this. You're, like, supernaturally, like, prevented from leaving the town. Like, we are trapped here forever now. Because, yeah, I... <laughs> Listen, this is just letting... Yeah, we literally can't go. Nax going to stop us every time. But... This does lend to the theory that we are, in fact, trapped here forever. Just for Takakura to feed off us. And steal our life force. Okay, no, we're not doing any linkage. Let's go. Oops. All right, uh, let's go to the dig site and then go home. Actually, I'll go to the dig site later. I'm going to go get these plants and then go to bed. But yeah, we'll continue, like, uh, befriending Muffy and trying to marry her then. Oh, crap, I need to get the cow inside. I completely forgot. Whoops. Get inside. Wait. Oh, wait, no, that's right. You have to hit it from the inside to let them inside. The outside button only lets all the animals out. Honestly, calling it Forgotten Valley with how, like, bleak it is at times is kind of fitting. Not really somewhere I would want to live, obviously, but it kind of fits. All right, let's uh, get some food in here and then go home. Or just go to bed or something. Also, I've never actually used, like... What are you, what are you mooing about now? Are you hungry? Yeah, you're just hungry. There. Oh, did we get the new chicken yet? Probably not. I don't think they come in until tomorrow. Also, I don't know why, but I love the rain effects in this game. Like, it really feels like a storm has rolled in. Especially with Breeze playing in the background, like, all the time you're in the farm. Also, I need to keep remembering in this game, X is the inventory button. I'm just so used to Y being the inventory button that I keep pressing it trying to open my bag. We haven't had a storm for so long. I'm gonna miss storms. Mostly because right now we're in the middle of a severe drought, so we could probably use the rain. 
Oh, it looks like the rain is starting to let up a bit. But yeah, there's just something about this game that makes me feel super nostalgic. More than any other game. Except me- well, even for, more than Friends of Mineral Town, I'll say that. Mostly because Friends of Mineral Town I played a lot more often. It doesn't help that Breeze is like the most nostalgic song in my in my mind. Like I just love this song, no matter the despite the fact that you hear it for like the entire game. All right, you know what? Before we go home and go to bed, I do want to go stop by the bar. Oh wait, in this game you can milk your cows twice a day, right? Hold on. Yep, we can milk them twice a day. Look at all this milk. Perfect. Alright, let's get these sold off real quick. And then, yeah, I want to go to the bar for a bit. Because unlike later games, this game, I think, has alcohol in it. Like, I think this game straight up has alcoholic drinks compared to all the other ones. They're mostly cocktails, so not like beer or anything. Oh, there he is! Hold on. Before we go... It's him. Hey, Murray. Oh god, I forgot about the fly. Okay, I don't think those flies are supposed to be blinking like that. It's an emulator issue. Hey, Murray. Here, you know what? I have 50 gold. Don't steal from me. Literally, the o also the only, like, Harvest Moon games that has crime. But yeah, he really got a glow up in the remake compared to the original. Hold on. Uh, give me a second. Oh god, it's you. Yeah. Shut the hell up, Rock. Anyways. Uh, hold on. Oop, nope. Oh, right, we're hungry. Oh yeah, I forgot you are from Poo Poo Valley. Yes, I have heard of it, because I've played this game before. But yeah, hold on a second. Uh... So yeah, this is what Murray looks like in the original. Let me see if I can pull up, like, a picture of his remake look. Actually, I probably have one saved, don't I? But yeah, this is what he... Okay, keep this in mind. This is what he looks like in the original. Let me find... And this is what he looks like in the remake. Like, oh, why is it so compressed? Hold on. So yeah, the, he got a massive glow up. Like, look at them. So weird. He's not more like a hippie than a bum. Alright, let me take that off screen. Yeah, he looks like an elf now. He looks more like a harvest sprite. Also, I don't think Murray is nude. Kinda hard okay, it's hard to tell from this angle. But I'm pretty sure he's wearing yeah, he's wearing like a loincloth. Alright. Anyways, I kinda got distracted. Let's go to the bar for a bit. Hey, Muffy. You're not Muffy, but I'll get a drink. Alright, drink me. I want... 
Give me some, uh, give me a moon trip. Yeah, that's just a cocktail. Like, that's just straight up a cocktail. More. Actually, I came here for a quick chat. You know, now that I think about this, might not be the best message to send to kids. You'll feel great if you come to go to the bar and just have, like, a couple of drinks. Give me a Moo Moo Milk. So, yeah, I think they do, like, someone mentioned, I'm pretty sure they cut you off after three drinks. Oh, no, they only cut you off after two drinks. Hey, Muffy. Oh, we're already up to a single red heart from a green heart. Yeah, it's like absurdly easy to get married in this game compared to the other ones. Because you kind of need to super early on if you want to get everything in the game. But yeah, you're not going to... Okay, yeah, you're not going to let me drink anymore. Alright, let's go home. Okay, they're not going to let me in the back when no one's back there. Uh... We could also just set up shop right now, I believe. Wait, can we not set up shop right now? Oh, no, it's over here. Right. It's the middle of the night and no one's around. I'm going to set up shop to sell nothing. This was a cool idea, but I think it's a little underutilized. Mostly because, like, there's not enough people to buy stuff from you in this game. Also, I'm hungry. I should probably eat something soon. You know what I just realized? There's no shop. There's no, like, restaurant or anything in this game, huh? The closest thing would be, what, the inn? But I don't think we can buy food here, can we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can't actually buy food here. And yeah, it's always good to explore around, just because there are recipes hidden everywhere. Fish with butter. Who write, Who wrote, like, that recipe on every single houseplant? Probably Rock. Alright, yeah, let's go home and go to bed. Been like a, we spent, like, half the stream on a single day of this game. We are not getting far. But that's fine. This was just about nostalgia, to be honest. Oh. Good dog. Here, before we go to bed, I want to try one thing real quick. Oh my god, I forgot about weird garden man emu news. Yeah, I've never actually watched all these shows before. I don't know why. Also, I have no idea if the horoscope does anything. Man, I forgot about this weatherman. Why is he like a weird, dirty gardener? Also, wait a second. I want to see something real quick. Is that... No, I think they just drew random lines on the map to make it look like a map in the background. Alright, I'm going to bed. So if I remember correctly, once you go to bed, you just sleep for, what, eight hours straight? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you sleep for, like, eight hours if you go to bed. Oh, also, let me let my cows out. And by cows, I mean cow. Singular. Are you awake yet? No. Oh, do we have a brush? I don't, do we have to buy a brush? We might have to buy a brush. Hold on. 
Because I don't remember if they give one to you at the beginning. Pretty sure they don't. At the shelf. Yeah, I don't see it. Hold on. Let me, uh... I think we might have to order one. Under other, right? No. Wait, how do we get the brush again? Oh, wait, no. I think you get the brush with the horse, don't you? Well, anyways. Don't worry about that later. Let's get a little bit of food. We're going to be surviving basically off of nothing but things we find in the wild and, like, cocktails. You know, the perfect diet for a farmer. Oh, how much wire do I have in here? There are three squares. But yeah, I'm, oh, I'm probably not going to be planting too much. We're going to mostly be relying on, like, our cows and chickens for our profits. And if I was going to play this long-term, trees. But that's not... <laughs> like I said, we're not doing this long-term. Or maybe we will and I'll just fall into the trap of replaying the entire game. Who knows? Are you asleep right now? No, you're awake. Alright, I'm going to nuzzle my cow real quick. Okay, so talking about this game, I need to ask people one thing. I want to see if this is real or if I am like made it up in my mind somewhere. I vaguely remember like seeing, I don't know if it was screenshots or video, but I remember vaguely seeing your like kid being able to ride cows around the farm. as like a little side thing. Is that like a special cutscene or something at some point in the game? Or am I completely making that up? Like, from the long years I've played this series. Because I feel like that was real, but I also feel like that I made that up at some point. Oh crap, you already took the milk. Alright, that's fine. We'll sell this tomorrow then. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Was it a different game? Because I... I have this clear picture in my mind of that... Ha of seeing that somewhere. Yeah, it might have been like a trailer or a pre-release screenshot or something, but I'm pretty sure that's not in the final game. But like I said, I'm also not 100% sure that I didn't just completely make that up. Well, whatever. Alright, I'm gonna go see Muffy. It's 7 a.m. Perfect time to go pay her a visit. Because bartenders should be awake at this hour after attending bar all night, right? Yeah, they're not open yet. Uh, hold on. Was it a different game? I I distinctly remember it being this game because I remember the costume on the kid being like the weird elf thing your kid wears in this game. Like I said, I might also be making this up. Who knows? Alright, you know what? I'm going home and going to bed. Oh, it's a oh, you know what? No, I'm gonna go to the dig site for a bit. Actually, no, it's like 7 a.m. I'm going to bed and sleeping for like 8 hours. Because I remember doing this a lot, too. To pass time more efficiently, you can just go to bed and sleep for 8 hours straight. Also, I forget what the dreams mean. So we went to sleep at... Oh. So we went to sleep at, what, 7 a.m. and woke up at 2. Wait, no, that's like... That's 6 hours, right? No, okay, sleep, you sleep for 6 hours. For some reason, I thought it was 8. Also, yeah, you were sleeping and being lazy. So Takakura just uh, brought home a chicken for us. 
Alright, what are we naming it? Oh, I don't have any chicken feet, do I? Crap. Uh, Tucker, I forgot to order chicken feed. I think it's always six hours in this game. Unless you have the, uh, alarm clock. Hold on, I need to order some chicken feed. Where's my cow? There it is. It's fine. One day without feed won't kill it. It might not be happy with me, but it should be okay. Screw it, I'm just gonna buy five for now. Alright. So now that's more normal hours, let's go see if Muffy's up and about. Man, I can't- is it raining? Sometimes it's hard to tell. It's raining, okay, one minute. Yeah, we could, but it's raining right now. It's fine. One day without, like... One day without food should be too bad. I can't milk you yet, can I? Oh, no, I can't. Oh, it might be a bit early, so you don't have full milk yet. Or not. I guess since I milk you so early in the day, you're, milk you're ready to be milked again suddenly. Okay. Crops are growing. I should probably buy more crops, to be honest. Yeah, you know what? Uh, Before we go see Muffy, we can just go see her tonight when the bar is open. I'm going to quickly run to the farm area, or Vesta's farm, and buy a few things. Also, I want to go to the dig site. It is kind of weird that Flora isn't... Well, did they deconfirm Flora as a bachelorette in uh, the remake? Whoops. Yeah, I'm going to plant some more watermelons. Someone please sell me seeds. Thank you. Give me, like, three more. One other thing I kind of remember about this game that... I don't know if I'm also making this up and just, like, imagining it, but... I remember some review of this game, specifically, where the reviewer couldn't figure... It took them forever to figure out how to get outside the house. Because I can show you when we get back home. But, like, in order to exit the house, you have to go to the front door with the rug and then hit A. For some reason, I remember some reviewer out there couldn't figure that out for the longest time. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm also making that up from the long, long years since I played this game. But I feel like it was real. Also, is Carter here? Carter's here. I'm gonna di- Oh my god, Carter, what's wrong with your neck? <laughs> Hold on. I'll dig in a second. I wanna see something. Carter, please turn your body a little bit. Oh, can I not dig anymore because I said no too many times? Hold on, uh, let me leave and come back. I do hope... Okay, can I seriously not dig because I, I said no too many times? Alright, fine, I'll come back some other day. But yeah, I love the dig site, like, during the, a rainstorm. It's just so nice down there with the sounds of the rain in the background. I kind of miss the older games where whenever it rained, the music would, like, cut out like this. And you just heard the sound of the rain. It's, like, super peaceful sounding. Oh, 
And then my yam. Uh, yeah, I got my cow inside already. Hey, Murray. Okay, hold on a second. I know someone mentioned this earlier, but yeah, he's not naked. He's wearing like a loincloth. Yeah, he's wearing like a loincloth and he has his little can on his belt there. Also, do we- oh, hey, Van's in town. Do we think like Mineral- or not Mineral Town, uh, Forget Me Not Valley has a lot of tourists? Because they have their own inn here, but I don't know. I guess people could come here just to chill out in the, uh, in nature for, or something. Yep, third and eighth of each month. Maybe I can sell right now. I could sell some moon ore. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna sell the moon ore. Doesn't sell for very much, but money's money. Okay, we can't do that. Muffy, there you are. I'm hungry. I need to go find food, but hold on. Uh, you want a flower? <laughs> Can I not give you a flower because you're working? Yeah, okay, we can't give her while she's working, so we have to make sure to see her, like, earlier in the day. Also, I don't think I've ever seen Griffin play his guitar in this game. Alright, I guess we'll have to come back some other time then. So, note to self, while she's working, we can't give her stuff. Also, Doctor, what are you doing out here? You know what? I'm just gonna go home. Oh, actually, before I go home, Van, do you have anything I can buy? Oh, wait, do we? Oh, never mind. I was gonna buy something from you, but never mind. Fine, go home. We'll see him in like five days. It's fine. Uh, Nami leaves, I believe, if you don't marry her. I think she leaves for a year or two. I forget if she ever moves back, though. I think she moves back later, maybe. But yeah, Nami, I think, moves to, like, Magical Melody if you don't marry her. Wait, so, hold on. If Nami is in Magical Melody and she's unmarried in that game, does that mean she is not the canonical, like, wife? Because she appears in a different game unmarried, so that implies that she never got married. Because you're married for life in this game. Yeah, I think she moves back either chapter 2 or 3. I want to say 3. Why is it snowing? It's spring. Wait, hold on. The drama's on. I miss these, like, silly little, like, dramas. Also, this makes it sound like it's some kind of high school drama. But those two on the screen are definitely, like, middle-aged. Like, they look like office workers. Anyways, before I go to bed, I'm gonna go uh, plant a few things. I do remember it being able to randomly snow throughout the year in this game. God, it's also really dark when it's raining.
But yeah, it. I think they were going for a high school drama, but the art makes it look like it looks like they're both like office workers who are middle aged. Because I don't know any high schoolers who wore like suits and like pearls to to school. Alright, uh, let me also sell the milk so that it'll get picked up tomorrow morning. Also, I still need to find food. I forgot how annoying finding food was in this game. Oh god, it is really dark on stream. Oh hey, wait, it's starting to get lighter. Rain stopping? Rain stopping, I can see stars now. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like Forget Me Not Valley would probably be a good place to live if you just want to get away from it all. Away from, like, the hustle and bustle of, uh, city life and work. I was gonna look up something real quick. Oh, right, the milk. I was gonna sell the milk. Wait, hold on a second. Hey, Takakura. Y yes, I know, I've been doing that already. Oh! Wait, a heart event already? Hey, Muffy! Yeah, romance in this game is very quick. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Is this the only Harvest Moon game that specifically points out that dogs pee? He's like that. Don't worry about it. So, uh, you okay there, Muffy? Also, Muffy, it's like 8 a.m. Shouldn't you be at work? Or 8 p.m.? Alright. Well, anyways, like I was doing before, I'm gonna go sell the milk and then go to bed. As much as I would love to go to the bar and buy more drinks, I should probably at least save some money. Be a little responsible. At some point, though, I do want to buy myself a rooster. But yeah, as a kid, I didn't realize what the male and female symbols meant. So I kind of accidentally ended up buying a lot of roosters because they were the first on the list. Uh, we're gonna marry Muff. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna marry Muffy. Maybe we'll play this like a couple of streams until we get married. We're not doing a whole full. Like I've said multiple times already, we're not doing a full playthrough. But I want to play at least a bit of the game. I want to get to marriage. But yeah, I want to marry Muffy because I. Never actually married Muffy before. I've married Celia and, uh, Celia? Celia and Nami a couple of times already. No one marries Muffy and I feel really bad about it because later chapters, if she's not married, she's gonna get pretty unhappy because she's gonna, gr like, get older, unmarried, and alone. It's actually really sad and I, I always feel bad about it. All right, let's get to work. Uh, let's get our milk real quick. Oh yeah, we also have the milker if we wanted it, but I always try to milk my hand. I know that like milk, Oop, sorry about that. Yeah, this is actually one game where I really hope they add like rival marriages. Because it always felt weird that if you don't marry anyone, they don't get married to- Like, they don't get married or end up with anyone at all over the, the entire game. Like, I feel like this game specifically would really benefit from rival marriages in the remake. 
Just so that other characters will change over time. Oh yeah, we also got a better watering can, didn't we? I should probably just change out for that soon. But yeah, we need to go see Muffy before she starts work. Because she won't accept gifts if she's working. Also, is the chicken feed here yet? I should probably feed my chicken. I don't think we're going to get an egg because we didn't have any food. For oh no, we might still get an egg. No. Alright, we'll get some chicken feed soon. I don't usually let my chickens out in this game because it's kind of annoying to carry them in and out. Alright, cow is outside. God, I need to get the brush so I can actually clean you. I do like the idea that your animals do get more dirty over time. And you have to actually brush to keep them clean. And like nice and shiny. Alright, let's go to the bar. Hey, where's Muffy? Uh, sure. Okay. Good, good talk. <laughs> I just wanted to see you. Muffy, would you like a flower? Hey there. Alright, how are we doing right now? Still at one red heart. Okay, we can work with this. Uh, yeah, we already nuzzled the cow. We should go nuzzle it again. Gotta make sure the cow loves me. Is there anywhere we haven't been yet? We haven't been to, like, Chris and Hugh's house. I forgot about the music in here. So if you couldn't tell, their gimmick is that he really likes exercising. He has weights in the kitchen. He has a treadmill over here. Also, I like the little touch that whenever you're talking to kids, you kneel down to get on their level. Wait, hold on a second. How have I never noticed this before? It might be because the uh, emulator has higher resolution. I never noticed this poster over here that just says power, power. That's just a picture of a real guy, right? Like, this is a real guy on that poster. Where are these five kilograms? Five kilograms each. Oops. Oh yeah, speaking of puppies, I want to check one thing real quick, because I'm pretty sure I know where the other dog you don't adopt ends up. Don't they end up, like, around the dig site? Also, speaking of the dig site, maybe we should- Oh god, we need to get there before Van does his cutscene. But yeah, speaking of the dig site, maybe we can actually dig now, and I don't have to, you know, accidentally say no too many times and end up not being able to dig. I don't think we're going to beat Van there, unfortunately. So we're probably going to have to see him opening his shop. Man, I want my horse. Pretty sure they give you the horse pretty early on. Wait, I might make it. I might make it in time. Made it. Perfect. Uh, Carter. Oh god, every single time he rotates his neck like that. Uh, yeah, let's start digging. 
So yeah, we can dig up stuff here, and if we find anything rare, we give it to him. I forget, what is the benefit of giving him the tablet pieces again? Because I'm pretty sure there is some type of benefit. Well, anyways, we're going to dig for a little bit and then get out of here. I do want to go see Van, see what he has for sale. Right, you know what? We're gonna dig more later. Let's uh, get out of here. I have other things I want to do. I should probably go feed my chicken. Our advanced shop should be open now, but yeah, I could have sworn you can find the other dog like wandering around the dig site sometimes. It might be later in the game. Oh, oh, uh, right, I should pick these and eat them. Gotta keep my strength up. Van shop is open. Perfect. Let's go see Van real quick. And then we'll probably go home and... Honestly, we might just go to bed. Oh, I need to feed the chicken first. But then we might just go to bed. And skip time for it a little bit. What do you got? Uh, fishing... Oh, I do want the fishing... There's the brush. Give me the brush. For some reason, I remember you got this for free in this game. Guess not. Is that a Chihuahua? Okay, yeah, I remember. Oh, you know what? I think it might be the Chihuahua. So, I remember the Chihuahua always being one of those rumored things in this game. Which I think ended up being true in the later, like, re-releases. Maybe? God, there was just a lot that, like, was kind of vague in the original version of A Wonderful Life. Anyways, I want to give my cow a bath real quick. Because you are a dirty cow. That sounds... That came out worse than it really did, should have. Huh. For some reason you... I guess it might just be the emulator making it look a bit more dull than I remember it. Because I remember they always were like... Shi not shining, but like really white and clean. Alright, so do we have our chicken feed yet? Yes, perfect. Give me that. Uh, let me also grab my better watering can that I ordered. Put this one away. Oh, no, put that away. No, stop it, game. Also, I think it might be time to milk our cow again. Also, yes, I'm, I'm definitely getting the remastered version when it comes to Switch. I really hope it turns out well. People love A Wonderful Life, and I just hope they improve on all the things that need to be improved. And yeah, as much as I love Forget-Me-Not Valley, they really do need to add a lot more to it. It is pretty barren, all things considered. Okay, uh, let's see here. Maybe the chicken.
There you go. Eat up. You okay? Okay, no. Oh, you know what? It was a, it's asleep for some reason. All right. Yeah, in this game, animals actually sleep. Well, I guess they sleep in all the games. Oh, no, the shed? Okay, so... They did fix that in later re-releases. It becomes the uh, chicken feeding area. So they cleared out the shed in, like, another wonderful life and turned it into an area where you can put your chickens. Uh, Rune Factory 3 special I'm probably also getting on Switch. Alright, bedtime. It's like 5 p.m. Oh, wait, you know what? Let me grab the money, too. I, also, I keep forgetting we have to actually go pick up the money after we sell our stuff. Nice little income there. Oh, is Van still open? Ah, uh, he might be closing soon. I want to go see if I can go grab the fishing rod. Because I have the money for it now. Okay, he doesn't close until like 6. Perfect. Also, I forget, in this game, can you give people gifts more than once a day? Also, that is the most rough looking fishing rod ever. Like, most of the other fishing rods are like, somewhat high tech, uh, like, modern fishing rods. This thing is literally just looks like a bamboo stick with a string on the end. Also, it never unbends. Wait, Muffy, Muffy, hold on. Uh, I don't think I can give you anything else today, right? Yeah, you want it? No, okay, I, I can only give you one thing a day. Alright. Well, I'm going to bed. Oh, band's closing. Crap. What's the weather like? Tell me weirdly, uh, modern... Er, sorry, weirdly modern weatherman. Sunny? Thin cloud? Sunny, okay. What's on TV right now? Music moment. What the heck is a top left player? Is that supposed to be tuba? Why am I watching an imaginary interview? program oh I, I meant to hit save whatever yeah you sleep for six hours in this game we for some reason we decided to wake up get dressed and get ready at midnight out of all of the like harvest moon protagonists this guy literally can't sleep for more than six hours whereas the other ones can sleep for like 18 hours straight with no issues I remember the time system in this game is just kind of strange compared to the other games. Just because you don't... It's like, not discrete days like every other game. Time in this game is pretty continuous. Like, there is no hard cutoff between days. Time just keeps flowing like, like in real life, actually. 
Also, I wonder, does Muffy like milk? We can try giving her some. Uh, did they pick up the milk yet? Yeah, he already left with the milk. I think Takakura leaves pretty early with the milk. Do we ever want to get him before he leaves? We have to get up super early. And then apparently he walks to town, or walks to town and sells all the milk. Like, I think they implied that he goes to Mineral Town to sell everything. Because apparently Mineral Town and uh, Forget Me Not Valley aren't too far away from each other. Oh, I'm out of water. Whoops. I forgot to actually fill up my new watering can. I want to see something real quick. Muffy like? It doesn't really matter because it's really easy to befriend her. Uh, Muffy. Flowers, sweets, coins. Oh, she does like coins. Alright, you know what? I'll give her that coin we found the other day. But yeah, other than that, we can just keep giving her flowers. We got the milk from the cow already. Oh, let me get the egg from the chicken, right? I keep forgetting I have a chicken. I need to buy a rooster soon. So that we can, like, build up our flock. Also, I do like that if they have an egg underneath them, they freak out a little bit when you pick them up. So nice little detail. Like, it is not happy about you picking it up to take its egg. Hey, puppy. Alright, 8 a.m. Uh, Muffy might not be awake yet. Yeah, they're not open. Alright, we need to wait a little bit then. Oh yeah, that's right. I should probably go see the Harvest Sprites in this game. Because we can go in their house. They don't do anything in this game, but we can go see them. Oh, wait, did I not nuzzle my chicken? I need to go nuzzle my chicken then. We'll do that when we get back. Okay, yeah, we should probably just go do that now. They're not opening anytime soon. I want to look up something real quick. When do we get the horse again? Uh, oh, we don't get the horse till summer, apparently. Okay. I remember it being a lot earlier than that. Guess I was wrong. Anyways, Breeze. Alright, come here, chicken. I'm gonna nuzzle you. Did you fall asleep in my arms? Seriously? Guys, I don't think my chicken likes me very much. Okay, no, you're totally awake. There. 
Like, it literally just went completely limp in my arms and fell asleep. Oh, speaking of nuzzling. Cows like it when you do that. Weirdly enough, you can't nuzzle your dog. Which seems weird, because that would be the animal you would probably want to most nuzzle with. Because they're pup it's a puppy. Yeah, it... It fell asleep. Why did you tie a recipe on the back of your guitar? Two fruits and a tomato to make a salad. Oh, these are tabla. They're drums. Oh, hey, Nami. Alright, it's almost 11 a.m. They should be awake by now. Actually, can we look up, up the hours of the bar? Oh, we know where our dog is. Uh. Oh, that's the inn. Nope. No hours. All right, let's give her that coin we got. Because apparently she likes these. I have two of them, actually. Oh, yep, she definitely loves it. It's for you. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Uh, What else do we want to do today? Oh, we're already at two hearts. God, I really for After playing Magical Melody, where friendship raises, like... Super slowly. Oh. Hey, Muffy. Uh, I was literally just here. Also, you guys aren't even open yet. It's only like 11 a.m. Okay. That sounds really destructive, actually. Uh... Hold on, which of these is the correct option? I... <laughs> so here's the thing, I don't know if the second one is correct or not. I'm pretty sure the first one is the right answer. All right, well, uh, like 11 a.m. Okay, I was gonna say, it's 11 a.m. I don't think we can buy drinks yet. All right, well, there's nothing else I need to do right now, so I'm going to bed. Listen, I wasn't sh Because the second one sounded like you were gonna go back inside together. It's a- it was tra it was basically phrased weirdly. But yeah, I think the first one was the correct answer in that case. Right, let's just sleep until like 6 p.m. Oh, we should probably get our milk for the day, too.
Oh wait, no, no, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. All right, let's keep moving. But yeah, I always try to milk by hand in this game because I don't know. It really takes too long to get the milker out of your inventory. I do know that basically using your tools or using or doing things by hand, I believe all of that affects what like that will all influence like what your kid gets into, what career they want. Like honestly, a lot of the things you do in this game affect what your child decides to go into as their career. Like who you befriend, who you interact with, what kind of toys you buy them. They uh, figure out pretty early, I believe. Right, I'm gonna have a drink and then go home. Oh, hey, Doctor. Oh, hey, Muffy. Man, they really like. Everyone loves a good cocktail after work, apparently. Uh, how much money do I have? Give me like a red punch. Also, we don't, like, nurse the cocktail or just, like, uh, drink it over time. No, we just gulp that thing down. I think I understand why uh, Griffin cuts us off after a couple. Is it raining? No, I thought it was raining. Hi, Chris. Yeah, I can't imagine those two would be happy in the city. Where there's not, like, a ton of room to run around in. Seriously, why can't I nuzzle my dog? He is in the perfect... Oh, I shouldn't let him go. He is in the perfect position to be nuzzled. Alright, bedtime. What? You know, I think I remember these shows are really weird compared to all the other games. Also, they are surprisingly long. Nice weather. Bad time. Oh, no, come on. There we go. Also, we're going to wake up at like, what, 1 a.m.? Yeah, it's like 1.30. All right, we're going back to bed. It's so weird they don't give you, like, the alarm clock starting out, so you just kind of have to sleep in six-hour shifts. You kind of have to plan around those six hours that you're going to be asleep. Alright, let's get our milk, get our crops water, and then go see Muffy. I have one more coin for her. Get everything watered. Also, yeah, unfortunately this game doesn't really have like the traditional, uh, what is it? The traditional tool upgrade system. So we're never going to get a better watering can. The only, this is basically the best watering can outside of like the weird one. Oh, I know. Mm, what was the gimmick with the weird watering can in this game? I think it only carried like one watering thing, but it made your crops better. Something like that. I don't actually remember. All right, there we go. Crops have been watered. Uh, cow has been milked. Let's check on our chicken and then go to town. 
Also, what day is it right now? That's one of the things about this game also. It's really easy for time to just like zoom by because on the screen they don't actually show what the date is. Hold on, what time is it? Or not what time, what day is it today? Is it already the 5th? I think we're on the 5th of spring. Yeah, we're halfway through spring. We'll play for a bit longer though. But yeah, from what I remember, how do you get the alarm clock in this game again? Uh, hold on a minute. I think you get it from... Hold on, let me see this real quick. Oh yeah, somehow we need our friend Daryl to get a seed maker. Hold on, let me, uh, be around right now. Oh wait, no, it's Grand who gives it to you, so we can't get until way later. Because, yeah, I remember Grant gives it to you because he's, like, an office worker, so he needs his alarm- or he needs an alarm clock. So he just gives you an old one. I do want to befriend Daryl at some point to get a free seed maker. Hey, Mu what? Oh, Muffy's right there. I was gonna say, I didn't see her for a second there. I just wanted to see you. Here you go. It's your favorite. <laughs> Alright, we should probably go to the dig sign and dig up some more gold coins from Muffy. Fortunately, we can't nuzzle her yet. Uh, two hearts. I forget, where is Selica? I think Selica's, uh, diary is, like, I want to say her diary is in her room, on her table. Hers is really easy to find. Oh, you know what? Nami's. I remember Nami's being kind of annoying to get to, because it's hidden in her room, but it's always locked. So we gotta wait for her to get back before we can uh, go inside it. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go dig up some more coins for Muffy. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to do something else real quick. I'm going to go see the Harvest Brights. I haven't actually gone to see them yet. Because how to get inside their house is kind of weird in this game. Hey, Wally, what the heck are you doing here? Alright, let's go check out the Harvest Brights real quick. And I'll grab a couple of extra flowers for Muffy, just in case. Oh yeah, there's a pond back here. I completely forgot about that. But yeah, if we want to go inside, we got to eat one of these strange mushrooms out here. Uh, I don't think the drinks are watered down. Like, they're very clearly cocktails. I- wait, why can't I talk? There we go.
Wait, no, I didn't want to talk to you. Why can't I talk to the blue one? There we go. Nick. I believe they're... They don't specify whether or not they're alcohol, but... I'm pretty sure they're alcohol. Because they do cut you off after like two or three drinks. Alright, uh, should we just go to bed? Let time pass? Yeah, let's just let time pass till 6 p.m. I was gonna get more coins, but eh, screw it. I'll just keep giving her flowers for now. Also, we can just go to the dig site tomorrow morning. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they were turning it into like a coffee house or a cafe. Seems like lately they've been trying to get more away from the alcohol. Hold on. Because like, uh, Friends of Mineral Town doesn't actually sell wine anymore. It's like grape juice now which is weird because one of the shops in that game is literally a winery but yeah if they turn into a cafe uh, like I know I see why they're doing it but at the same time yeah I think a bar is more like immersive for a town, little town like this also the cow is starting to only give like three milk now. They're always at like their peak right after they give birth and then just slowly start giving you less milk. That's fine. But yeah, and like I said, I hope they kind of keep some of the more... I guess, quote unquote, realistic parts of the game in the remake. Like how if you just don't really do much with uh, your wife and your kids, they can in fact, they can leave you and give you a bad ending. Or that like Nina actually dies over the course of the game because of time. Or the fact that, like, I think Grant, it's Grant, right? Yeah, Grant's the guy who moves in later. Grant is kind of trapped in a almost loveless marriage. That part's kind of dirt. That part's kind of dark. Oh, hey! We're being raided. Hey, everyone. Also, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. We're playing. We're just playing a wonderful life right now, just chilling, talking about the remake coming out uh, next year. Anyways, I'm gonna have a drink. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna spend all my money on a drink. Give me some stone oil. So far, so good. We're basically trying to marry Muffy right now, because she's the one- I right, thanks for the follow. She's like the one bachelorette I've never married in this game. Anyways, I spent all my money, so I'm gonna go quickly run home and grab my, uh, my profits from shipping all my milk and eggs. Also, I should probably ship my milk and eggs. I think tomorrow morning we're also going to stop by the dig site, see if we can get some more coins. I've already given them all away to Muffy. Okay, that's a lot more money than I was expecting. What the heck? Oh, did I not? I didn't pick up the money yesterday, that's why. Uh, is there any... are there any tools I want to grab? Oop, wrong menu. Because we do have some cash now. Actually, you know what might be a smart thing to do? It might be smart to start getting a rooster. 
so we can start like breeding our own chickens or we could get ourselves a new cow never mind i can't afford it but yeah it might not be a bad idea to get a chicken soon because i don't really need anything of these other ones yet Also, you know what? I just realized this is a picture of a crying cow. I never knew what that picture was as a kid, but now that it's like a bit higher res on the emulator, I can see that's a crying cow. That's kind of really sad, actually. Okay. That's, uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna get a male chicken. Get a rooster. And it's kind of unfortunate. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. You know what's actually going to be really unfortunate? Hold on. I don't think we can get it yet, but... This is the original A Wonderful Life. So you know what's in this game? The goat. Also, oh my god. What the heck is with the animation on my dog? The goat is going to be in this game. A.K.A. the Beginner's Trap. Later games let you sell the goat, but in this one, once you buy that goat, you are stuck with it. Unless it dies. So basically, because you can't breed the goat in this game, after one season it stops, or like after a year or so, it stops giving milk. And then you literally can't do anything with it anymore. And it just kind of takes up a slot in your barn. So the only way to actually get rid of it is to just kind of let it die which is kind of terrible but the game doesn't really leave you much choice god i haven't thought about the goat for so long also wait what oh it's 2 a.m whoops uh eh screw it we're up three a.m in the morning let's go take care of our animals and our crops I should plant more. But yeah, we're gonna have to end up selling a lot of our roosters. Because you only need one. All the other roosters are kind of useless. Like, honestly, the, well, no. We want at least one rooster so we can get ourselves free chickens. And only one and don't be like me as a kid where I basically didn't understand male and female symbols. So I just bought a lot of roosters and wondered why I never got eggs. Same with the cows. Well, the cows were more of the fact that I didn't realize you had to breed your cows. So I always bought, like, other female cows because I figured out the difference there for some reason, but I never could figure out why I wasn't getting milk out of them until I realized that you had to keep breeding them to get milk. Yeah, at some point we should also buy ourselves a bull. Also, where am I going? It's 4 a.m. No one's out yet. I'm going home and going to bed. I need to sleep for another six hours. Also, I need to eat something. Time to go foraging for some food. Farmer has eaten nothing but like random uh, plants it finds on the ground and cocktails. Not the best diet for like hard work on a farm. I can't, like, drink the milk either, because I can sell milk. It's worth quite a bit, too. Okay, yeah, you've gone down to one, or what is it, three milk a day? Or three milk of milking. Crops have been watered, so they should be okay for a while. Also, in this game, can we actually wash our chickens? I don't remember ever actually doing this. Because I'm pretty sure you can't use the brush on them, can you? No. I mean... 
Technically, it's a vegan diet. We haven't eaten any fish yet. We've just been eating like random plants we find in alcohol. Actually, no, we can, you know what? We can actually break the vegan diet immediately by just eating an egg. Also, whoops. All right, uh, let's go. Can we go to the dig side right away? Yeah, you know what? Let's go to the dig side for a bit. We can just see if we can find a coin or two. Oh, I need to stop clicking outside the window. Well, listen. Yeah, Ultima, this is an old beta version of the uh, remake coming out next year. Is there no one down here? Nope. They're both down here. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna dig up and see if I can find some coins. Wait, what? No, I, I literally just started. No, I'm not stopping yet. I think I accidentally got too close to the door there. I am not finding anything today, huh? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. We got... No, I don't want a statue. I want a coin. Give me more. Try again. Well, listen, yes. Marvelous contacted me and decided to release the alpha version of Story of Seasons of Wonderful Life to me. Like, for an alpha, it looks really good, right? Wait, what? No, Takakura, I'm busy. Oh, okay. Um, I guess we're here now. Uh, what are we naming you? What do we name our other chicken? We named it Egg. So I guess we can just name these things after, like, egg dishes. You know what? I'm gonna name you... I'm gonna fit... No, it's not going to fit. Well, no, it will fit if I do this. I'm naming you over easy. So wait, did that kick me out of the dig site? <laughs> no, I'm still here. Perfect. Sorry guys, I had to quickly run home, name my chicken, and teleport back. You understand, right? Takakura can just apparently teleport us wherever he wants. Like I said, at this point we're basically trapped here by Takakura's power. We can never leave the valley ever again. Because apparently the entrance of, and exit of a uh, Forget Me Not Valley is kind of a hellmouth, judging by the weird demonic sounds there. Oh, found one. It is weird in all these like Harvest Moon Story of Seasons games where, like, once you arrive at your new home, you never leave, huh? Like in every single one of them, I guess the Tree of Towns is like. Well, a trio of towns to go to, obviously. But for the, all the other ones, basically, once you're there, you're there forever. I guess Tale of Two Towns, you also travel, like, different places. Yep, yep, I'll take these. Yeah, once you're here, you are never leaving. All right, let's go see Muffy before she starts work. God, I can't wait till we get the horse. 
It's so much more convenient to travel around the town on a horse. Honestly though, there are worse places to be trapped in. I forget, what was the town name of A New Beginnings Town? Oh, it is in the bar, whoops. I hear a dog barking. Is that my dog? Alright, Muffy, are you in the back? No, Muffy's not here. Okay, she's down about somewhere. Where could she be? No, wait, no, seriously, where is she right now? I'm trying to remember the t name of the town in A New Beginning. I don't know why I'm blanking on it so much. Okay, no, seriously, where the heck is Muffy? I guess we'll just wander around till we find her. Yeah, I don't see her anywhere. She's gonna have to go back to the bar soon for work. So she might have wandered, like, to the forest or something. Oh, no, there she is. Yeah, that was the uh, 3DS game. Or no, uh, no, DS. No, no, 3DS. Yeah, that was a 3DS game. Echo Village, that's it. Also, yeah, remember when I was talking about the sound of the entrance to the village? Like, why does it sound like this? It just sounds so ominous. Also, we can't leave, so I'm not going to try. Uh, Muffy, where'd you go? There you are. Yeah, I know it's windy, like, it's technically because of the wind, and it's a, the valley effect, basically. The hills basically push the wind down here and makes that sound. It's just really creepy, though, right? Like, the music just, all the other sound effects just completely cut out, you just hear the wind. Actually, it's kind of weird there's no music at all unless you're on the farm, like... It's realistic that way, just like how in real life, whenever you're home, you just have the same song ba blasting in the background at all times. You know what? The more I play this game again, the more I realize that Forgotten Valley is kind of an appropriate name for the place. It's a place where time forgot. Uh, I'm not getting a drink right now. Oh, we're already at three hearts. Oh my god. Okay, Muffy is really easy to befriend. I don't even remember any of the other girls, like, being this easy to befriend. Hold on, does that mean we can trigger another heart event with her? Uh, hold on. Usually to trigger heart events, you have to go inside and outside the house. Nope. Okay. Alright, we'll probably trigger it at some point, just naturally. Let's go to bed. Right, hungry. Oh, did I sell my milk yet? Yes, I did. Oh, but you know what I didn't do? I didn't milk my cow for the night.
All right, let's get this ship down, then we'll head to bed. Ah, uh, yes. What if the what a wonderful life remake is just a uh, was it? It's just a horror game. Hey, there's a reason I'm playing this game in uh, October. Obviously, it's a horror game. Now I'm trying to remember. Were there any ghosts in the other games? Just like something that popped in my mind. Actually, speaking of creepy things in this game, there is that, like, stuffed bear you can buy for your kid that comes to life. Props. Are any of them done yet? Not yet. Almost. The mayo should be done soon. Alright, let's water everything. We'll go see Nami. Or not Nami. We're not gonna go see Nami. We're trying to marry Muffy. We're gonna go see Muffy and give her another gift. I forget. In this game, I think it's like four hearts and you can propose. on for a little bit longer. I kind of want to see. Like, if we hit... I want to see if we can hit Far Hearts with Muffy. Yeah, I doubt they're ever going to remake Harvest Moon DS. That's like... I don't think that game was, like, big enough to... Oh, hey, thanks for the follow. Uh, big enough for them to remake. Like, it seems like they're focusing on the really popular games. So, honestly, I don't think a Magical Melody remake is out of the question at this point. I guess it depends on how well the Wonderful Life remake does. Also, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if they're just remaking all the games just so that they don't have to, like, deal with the old Harvest Moon name anymore. Or they're like big games in the series. Basically, they're remaking them so they can put Story of Seasons on there and just make a definitive edition. Also, one second, I need food. Actually, you know what? Oh, nope, that's all I meant to do. You know what I'm gonna try doing? I wanna see if I can cook an egg real quick. Oh uh, yeah, I think that's probably one uh, one big reason they're remaking them. That and I think Friends of Mineral Town just like sold like crazy compared to like Pioneers of uh, Olive Town. So if I like just oh right, I can only make super salad, and I'm pretty okay. I can't put an egg in there apparently. Uh, what if I just make soup with milk? Will this make anything? No, we need three ingredients. Okay. I forgot, in this game, your the cooking system's kind of weird. We only know how to make soup and salad right now. Is this fertilized? I don't think so. Nope. Alright, I'll put that away for now. Alright, we milked our cow, we got our chicken egg. Uh, I don't think I picked up the profits from yesterday yet. Man, it's kind of a good- it's a good thing that when Murray tries to steal from you, he only takes, like, stuff in your shipping bin. Well, your, like, animal shipping bin. He doesn't, like, take your money or anything, because that would ab actually suck. If Murray could just take your money like that. 
We should probably just get a lock for that room, to be honest. I'm surprised we don't have one already. Because Takakura doesn't, like, put the money anywhere secure. He just sticks it in, like, a... Uh, was it? In a can right next to the shipping bin. Let's see something real quick. Uh, weather. Sunny. Alright, let's go see Muffy. How do we trigger her next heart event? But yeah, I need more ingredients to actually cook with. Like I said before, half the time for these towns, why don't they have like a supermarket or some type of general store? Forget Me Not Valley, I think, is the worst in that aspect in that the only shops, I think, are Vesta's Farm, which doesn't sell crops to you for some reason, I don't think, and then the bar. And I guess Van River comes to town. But yeah, how do these... I guess all these people get it directly from Vesta's farm. Because we did see an order sheet in, in the, her, like, shed. Actually, if I go back inside, do I get... No, I don't get an event for going back inside. Are there any, like, uh, good cocktail recipes back here? No. All right, let's head home. Hey, Murray. Okay, who the heck are Taro and Hanako? Wait. Yeah, who the heck is Taro and Hanako? Oh, wait, are they just his weird imaginary friends or his flies? Oh, I think they're his flies, actually. Okay. Well, uh, there's nothing else I need to do right now, so time for a quick nap? Also, what day is it, by the way? Like I said, it's actually really easy to lose track of the days in this game. It is the 7th already. All right, I'm gonna take a quick six hour nap. Let's get our milk. Oh, I should probably water my crops. Hold on a second, I want to look this up. How do we trigger Muffy's next heart event? Exit your house between 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. on a sunny day. Wait, we've been doing that, though. Well, whatever, the trigger is probably kind of weird. Oh, well. Whoops. Alright, we'll work a little bit and then probably go back to bed. Only for another 12 hours or so. Oh wait, there's Daryl. Have we seriously not seen Daryl yet? Hey, Daryl.
Hold on. Uh, Daryl, how do you feel about human statues? Okay, he doesn't want it. Never mind. Bye, Daryl. I want to be friends with him, because he'll give you a free seed maker of your friends. I really wish you got the alarm clock earlier. It's kind of annoying to have to always plan around sleeping for six hours straight. Oh, did I? I forgot to ship my milk yesterday. Crap. Uh, all right, that's fine. That's fine. We'll ship the milk today and get a bit more tomorrow, I guess. Uh, no, the seed maker is literally the thing you put in your shed that you put crops in. They make seeds. Which I believe in this game is actually more broken than the trees. Because, was this the game where the seeds sold for more than... How was it? Where the seeds sold for more than the crops? I remember there was something about the seed maker that may have broken in this version. Alright, let's just keep working. We'll go see Muffy later, give her a flower, because I don't feel like going to the dig site. And I think we are going to start wrapping these up a little bit, or pretty soon. Also, I am having fun with this game. Maybe we'll do maybe a one more stream of this. I promised myself I wouldn't play through the entire game again. But I wouldn't mind, like, maybe doing one more stream, maybe. We'll see. Uh, the weird plant thing is tartan. Oh, eggs aren't ready yet. Whoops. It's the one that lets you combine crops together. But I don't think we can unlock that till like chapter two or later. Something like that. Uh, it's a little early. I'm gonna go to bed for six hours. Yeah, ha ha marry Muffy, have a kid, and then just leave. We're done. That's it. That's all I wanted out of the game. Just freeze time right there when everything is still super happy and everyone's like young and living together and alive. Nothing bad happens in this game. We don't have to- oh wait, heart event. What the? How are we sleepy? It's two in the afternoon. Oh, there's Muffy. Oh. Oh, sorry, we're not in Forget-Me-Not Valley, we're in Forget Valley. Forget Valley sounds worse than Forgotten Valley, I will say that. Ah, where does she belong? Town or Forget Valley? So is the town literally just named Town? I know you belong here with us. Oh god, I would feel really bad about not marrying her after that. Alright, well, uh, let's go give her a flower. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, let's go see what our hearts are at now. Probably still on like three. Oh no, we're uh, we're at four hearts. Um, hold on. Does that mean we can get married soon? Wait. Okay. How do we trigger the blue feather cutscene? Because I think once you reach four hearts with a girl, you can unlock the uh, blue feather cutscene. Here, before we do that, though, let's actually take care of everything we need to. Did I water my... I didn't finish watering my crops, did I? Either that or... No, they're just drying out. Never mind. Uh, no, they're still fine. I think it is late enough in the day that we can milk our cow now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, before we wrap up things for the day, then, I kind of want to play a little bit longer, just to see if I can at least get the blue feather. Because in this game, I believe they just give it to you for free. Actually, do we need to go north of the forest to get it? Because I remember that was where you find it. Also, I never got an egg, did I? Eh. You know what? I kind of want to leave the egg in the chicken coop right now. I want to see if we can get it to get. Or I want to see if it gets fertilized. Because if we can fertilize it, we don't have to buy more chickens. But yeah, I believe you find the blue feather up here. But I think you need to do it in a cutscene. Yeah, you know what? Let's try going to bed for a bit. See if we can get when we wake up. Actually, before we go home, is there anywhere we can find food in this town? Vesta won't sell me any food. I think she's trying to starve me, so I just... Or was it? Just to get rid of her competition. Although, to be fair, our farm is more, like, animal-based compared to hers. Like, she is completely all in on crops. Just look at it. Our farm, though, we're barely growing any crops, so we're basically selling a lot of milk and eggs. We're a dairy farm. We're not, like... We're not competing against her, like, at all. The least she can do is sell me some food. Alright, uh... Is there anything else I need to do right now? I don't think so. Drops are... Uh, do I want to water them right now? They still look kind of wet. Yeah, you know no, I'm going to water them in the morning. Whoops. Camera. Also, you know what? I'm already here. Is this egg fertilized? I don't think it is. Yeah, non-fertilized. Okay, you know what? I'm tired of being hungry. I'm just gonna swallow a whole egg. It's fine. Plenty of calories there. Oh, right. Forgot Van's shop was open today. I haven't sold anything to him. Time for bed. Alright, so if I walk off the farm, can I trigger the blue feather event? If not, it's fine. But yeah, I think we're gonna wrap things up soon anyways. No? Okay. Oh wait, our tomatoes are done. I think we actually finally have some crops growing. Do these regrow? No, they'll wilt after a day or two. Okay, that's fine. Oh, wait, these aren't ready yet. Okay, well, we got some tomatoes, at least.
Let's get everything watered and then, yeah, I think we're gonna call it a stream here. But this was fun, just going back to this game. Uh, I'm not sh like I said, I'm not sure if I'm gonna stream it again or move on to something else after this. I originally meant for this to be a one-off stream. Maybe we'll do one more so we can at least get... Uh, the problem is we'd have to play until the end of the year if we want to get married. I don't know. I'll figure it out, though. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Before we wrap things up, I might as well just try to get the blue feather. Because I'm pretty sure at this point we can just get it, right? Hold on. How do we get the blue feather? I kind of feel bad about anything here without getting it. Uh... How do you get the blue feather? Yeah, they should just give it to us for free. Hold on. I'm gonna sleep until we get it. Blue feather? No? Okay. Here, if I just walk towards the forest, maybe they'll give it to me? It's weird we haven't gotten it yet. Is it just way too early to get it? No, nothing. Alright, I'm going back home and going to bed. Oh, we might have to wait till summer. Maybe? Alright, we're gonna skip ahead one more day and see if we get it. If not, oh well. It's 2 p.m. I'm going to take a quick nap. I'm just dreaming about me and all of my beautiful fruits and vegetables. Nope. Back to bed. Oh, hi, Takakura. Did I forget to do something? Oh, uh... Hey, Muffy. What's up? Did you... Did you bring Muffy to me? Oh. Sure. Guys, uh... Muffy's in my house right now. Sure, go ahead. I'll just stand outside for six hours. What is everyone doing here? What? Why why would you come here to shop? I don't have snacks for you. Ah. Where the heck are you shopping? I was just complaining about this. We don't have a general store in town. Did you want her to walk all the way to like Mineral Town to get you snacks, Griffin? So it's all one big misunderstanding. 
Okay, but why were Carter and Griffin here? Or not Griffin, uh, K Casey, whatever his name is. What the heck were they doing here? The heck just happened? Alright, well, uh, whatever. Alright, I think that's a good place to wrap things up then. But yeah, where was she going shopping? Are you asleep? No, you're awake. Yeah, where the heck was she gonna shop? Like I said, there is no store in town for her to get stuff at. Alright, uh, let me just grab this milk and then, yeah, we're just gonna wrap things up here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try one more thing before we wrap things up. So, now that we've seen that hard event, can we get the blue feather yet? Or do we have to wait till summer? Actually, what day is it right now? I just realized, I think summer is like, literally around the corner. Oh yeah, it's already the 9th of spring. Oh, I meant to save there. Hey, I'll save when I get up. Oh, it's raining. Oh crap, it's raining. I need to let my animals inside. Hold on, uh, let me let my animals inside so they don't get wet. Oh wow, it's raining really hard too. Oh hey, thanks for the sub. Am I out of food? I'm out of food. Yeah, the remake was the reason I kind of wanted to stream this game for a bit. Just for, like, nostalgia's sake. Oh, my watermelons are done. I should cut down the old ones soon. Well, spring is- or, yeah, summer's almost here, so we can start planting again. But yeah, now that we have enough hearts, I don't think we can get the blue feather yet, unfortunately. So we can't propose. Not that it matters, we can't get married until the end of the year. Oh well. Let's go home. It's what, 4 a.m.? Guess we'll go to bed for a bit. Alright, enough stalling though. I think we are gonna wrap things up here then. But yeah, thanks everyone for uh, coming out today. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'll keep streaming this game or move on to a different game. This was kind of a thing I did on a whim for one stream. I know I keep saying that, but I still have trying to convince myself not to do another playthrough of this game. Or at least play through the beginning of the game again. We'll see. I'll announce that I have time on Twitter what I decide to do next week. Yeah, I don't think we're getting the blue feather. I keep trying to go to bed and waking up hoping that's the day we can get the feather, but I think we're just going to have to wait until later in the year to get it. Oh well. Alright, but yeah, thanks everyone for coming out tonight. Bye everyone. Also, I can't wrap things up without Breeze playing in the background. There we go. Alright, good night everyone.